In this video, I am going to perform the test for esters in our functional group analysis. We, are, we tested so many functional groups. So, today in this video, I am going to perform the hydroxamic acid test. This is a test for ester. We can identify esters from this experiment. So, we need some chemicals. Uh, I am going to use ethyl acetate as our test sample and we need 10% sodium hydroxide dilute hydrochloric acid, hydroxylamine hydrochloride and ferric chloride. We don't need a lot of ferric chloride. We need few milliliters of dilute solution of ferric chloride. Okay, for the ester test in this boiling tip, I have few milligrams of hydroxylamine hydrochloride solid. So now we need to add our test sample. I'm going to add about two to three drops of ethyl acetate here. Okay. Now we need to add some sodium hydroxide, 10% sodium hydroxide. Alright. Now we need to boil this solution about 1 to 2 minutes. For that I am going to place this boiling tube in a water bath. After boiling the solution, here is our solution. Now we need to acidify this solution by adding dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay, that would be enough. So, now we need to observe a color. We need to add dilute solution of ferric chloride. When we add the ferric chloride, you can see here brown color. We should observe a violet or deep red brown color. In this case, we have a red brown color here that confirms our ester test, confirmation of presence of a ester. So if this final solution is yellow in color, that would be a negative for this experiment. So from this hydroxamic acid test, we can confirm ester is present in our sample solution. 